dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the play for you for Danganronpa 2. No one's here, right? This feels weirdly prophetic about <laughs> the state of this fucking channel. But anyway, yeah. So we are in chapter three. Fucking Yoko, this little shithole. <laughs> Up to some fucking dirt. <laughs> I look forward to this going potentially nowhere. some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. More murders. Woo! Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. <laughs> uh, involving himself in Pe Peko's execution like that. Suffering all of those wounds. Is he really going to live? And... Was it really okay to leave him leave him in Monokuma's care? I don't really think we had a choice. Just kind of did it. Worry has consumed my heart for that little fuck. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. Guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterward. First, he's got to deal with this stiffness. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. I'm going to find out where that little bishy bitch fucking lived. Which was great, yeah. So last time, fucking Peko, sword lady, got fucking got. And Fuyuhiko was right there with her, getting her getting this fucking shit pushed in. Oh, it was great. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Sonia. Huh? You insolent fool! I am sorry. Um. Yeah. That's close. I was really gonna kneel before her. Yeah, word, same. You seem like what? You... There's not enough sprites in this game for you to actually look different. She looks like she normally does. Okay, that's intentional. But just as I thought, Sonya and I were worrying about the same thing. Is we, Hiko, really okay? I mean, probably. That little shit's probably got some kind of weird plot armor thing going on. He seems like the kind. In the meantime. Oh, right, actually, fuck, I gotta... Okay, they have not pooped themselves yet. Hello, partner in crime. Good morning, Chiaki. Hey. Yeah, but I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Hmm. Gaming as usual. Now, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused in gaming. And we both girl. I'm up here. To the restaurant. See what that little sh shit did. Oh. 
Yes, I am. Kyoko, you're the only one here. Why are you acting so anxious about? Oh, sorry, what are you acting so anxious about? No. I, I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some dirty, some kind of dirty trick again? Yeah, let... Mm. Okay, yeah, let's look over at the weird fucking Demu Borg gear altar. What the heck is this? <laughs> a panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiro take these photos? But what's with this terrifying ambiance? Yay! <laughs> um... It's like so cute. Hey, Kyoko, did you? Uh, hello. <laughs> Satan. I expected that reaction. Fine, it's just some weird Jojo grave or something. I don't know. Mm. Where the fuck do you even get skulls like that on a fucking tropical right. island? Where do you get candlesticks like that in a fucking deserted island? Was all that just in the store? I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably... Day. Good nom nom nomming! Yeah! <laughs> Everyone fucking just rolls up. Something like this. No, seriously, it's just Hey Fucking girl. Huh? Good God, dude. No. <laughs> Fucking God. Ah. <laughs> uh. I didn't think I'd ever feel bad for Kyoko, but ser seriously, this is. Hold it. <laughs> what the heck? You think so? Yeah, maybe Mahuru was like super into metal. Perhaps. Kind of hard to behind the fog effects. 
forever and ever. Right? I see. <laughs> Good God. You. All of you are fucking simple minded. <laughs> the second anybody's like, yo. Y'all run in and make a snap judgment. Sun comes in and goes, hey, think about it for literally a second. <laughs> She's not alone. No one's alone in hell. Or heaven, I guess. I don't... Whatever. <laughs> no, it, it's a good altar. It's just kind of satanic. Sorry. It's not really clumsy. It's got weird aesthetics. Like you all, everyone always does, dude. Yeah. Where did you get the skulls? Now. That's what I want to know. Where did no. the skulls come from? Jokes. I see, I see. Jokes primarily. Meow. Huh. Good to see everyone still in the still in high enough spirits to be able to just rip on someone. That's not it. Jeez. Nah, son. You got friends now. All I do is rip on you. Shut up! <laughs> and then the one takes it a bit too far. Why only me? At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> hmm? Really? It feels like I made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. I mean, you're not wrong. Did someone say despair? This Monokuma pops out like it's fucking Pee Wee's Playhouse. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. What? God! Impossible! Damn it, Gundam! Fucking <laughs> Are a bunch of characters gonna come back from the dead after we explain it to them and get fucking surprised by this shit too. I'll destroy you Now that those two are here. Do you still think we're splendid? I completely agree. 
The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do was sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing, like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Wizard of Monami. Oh yeah, right, fucking New Island. God damn it. So fucking long since I played this, I forgot how the goddamn game works. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. You don't got to worry about choking. <laughs> um. Yes, oh, demon bear, I summon thee. Don't surprise me. All right. For... I'll show you my serious side. That's obviously wrong. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta show him your moves. <laughs> You, dude. Jeez. What are you talking about? Monami's fine. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Wait, did Did you actually not you actually not know who she is? Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um hey. Hey. New Island fuckers, let's go! I'll be complacent. It's like the prisoner. Best of twins. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. The way to get off this island and go home. It's probably on fire. No, that's the only thing we have. It's our one and only hope. At least someone knows how to read a fucking room. I tried going in and Monokuma stabbed me. Hey. We don't know if she brought us here, but just, she was just here when we got here. She's fucking immortal. What are you gonna do to her? Bye bye. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Get back here, you assistant manager, motherfucker. Well. <laughs> we 
should go to this new fucking island. However. Motherfucker, it's fine. These shits can teleport all the goddamn island. They. If anything happens with Hiko, they'll let us know. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Hey, hey. You're right. We should wallow. Just spend all day staring into a fucking wall. But we can, huh? She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Be a surprise. Mm. He comes back, calls us all bastards, and then we fucking get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right. You fucking toady. Wait. Good luck, dude. Leave it to me. Nah. That... Hold on. Oh, oh, good. Jojo is fucking talking sense. <laughs> After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Okie day. Okay. So, we'll be walking, because I want to level up my fucking thing. Oh, and also, don't I have... I have fucking Monokuma coins. I gotta... I gotta goddamn go to that thing. I gotta do the thingy. Run, 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 run. I can play the lottery. Let me go see about these other islands. I'm a slow poke, it'll be sunset before I know it. I should explore the new island for now. Okay, never mind then. Oh, right, yeah, it's not free time. Once it gets to free time, then I can go do that shit. But for now, we are on the fucking critical path. Hey, you're not going to the new island, Nakamaru? Yeah. Oh. Solid plan. You, yeah, got it. You just keep. Nakamaru's quite good at taking care of people. I wonder if that's a habit of being a team manager. Third island, here we go. Monami was right. The beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. Typically how bridges work, yes. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness I felt, I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. Third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. Does that fucking thing say Titty Typhoon? The residents and ruins are all in sh are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. And not just that. There's definitely no sign of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Hospital.
Looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambiance feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Yeah, fuck. Holy shit. Are you just gonna live here now? The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to worry to be worried about. Fuck, dude. You don't say. Wait, that's the weird thing. Just as I thought. Here too. Damn it. There's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? Mikon frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I worry about that kid. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Welcome to the Jabberwock Hospital. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so who is this notice written for? Us, fucker. <laughs> get like a get like a spleen removed or something. Appendectomy. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me for, to forget it. This fucking dude. Patient room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mekon. Stuff and head back outside. my fucking pet doing? For some reason, that's the thing I'm kind of most invested in so far, is just if my weird Tamagotchi's gonna be fine. And oh, hey, I'm behind the foreground. <laughs> fucking shocker. Yeah, this is... The fucking Titty Typhoon? And the Japanese is a fucking strip club? Because it sounds like a strip club. This building with this gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Let's get my singles ready. Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. I don't know if the hospital's good enough to handle a heart attack yet. That's totally it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it looks like it. It's the fucking bar from goddamn dusk till dawn. Thomas B's gonna show up with his dick pistol. So I think you're dying next. Huh? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problem. No problem. Crap. Crap. 
Are you having a stroke? Am I having a stroke? You don't look very okay. I don't feel very okay. Yeah, get up on stage to the music stylings of one person. Hell yeah, dude. It's gonna be an acoustic show. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if you've really taken a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate. No, don't. I'm tired. Try to go up and check out another place. Ugh. Amazing. Disco? Hmm. I do. But. There's the stage. I'll probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. So this is the baton lighting's control panel. Oh, baton lighting? I don't know. Apparently you can control the baton lighting with this. Is it, is it baton or baton in this case? It says staff only on the door. It's probably some kind of, sorry, some sort of storage room. Might as well check inside. There's a lot of different there's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Look like at their stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. I guess there's nothing special we need to see right now. We need to right now. What the There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there's also instruments and machines I've never even I've never seen before. Like a banjo or a ukulele or a fucking mandolin. Or a guitar strap. You can see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. There are two step ladders next to each other. These must be required for stage design. They might even be used for stuff like film projects. You don't like step ladders. There's carpeting, wallpaper, even different paints. It's probably stuff used for livening up the stage and stage design or live performances. Yeah, it's music venue storage room. Now let's check the bar. I can't check the bar. Bitch waffles. But well, we out. Let's see what's next. Air conditioning. And vacancies. Oh. A small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? It's the world's greatest detective, Hajime. I've seen them before in movies, but this is my first time actually seeing one in person. Oh, fuck you, bitch. 
You've never seen my house. I mean, it's a bit too expensive for minimum wage workers, I think. It's a bit harsh, don't you think? But... A clue? Do you think so? Why don't you go look inside and... Why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing here and doing nothing? What's that supposed to mean? No. <laughs> oh, God. You shit. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. A bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably all look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in a crime movie. If it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. A rundown, rusted, rotting car that someone abandoned. Maybe it'll start up if I just keep staring at it. Yeah, let's get out of here. See what else there is to see. Yeah, this is a fucking movie set, isn't it? Like, this entire place is a movie set. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electronic appliances at the back of, the, at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we could probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. What is this? There's so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no idea what they're used for. Uh. Hmm? What do you mean? Tell me more. So much more. Machines used for secret video record recording secret videos, but so new troubleshooting over on the side as well. No one said you did. He says he's never used them before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who eventually used them. I mean, you're not wrong. There's a lot of CRTV TV. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They look really old. Looks like they're not being not, being, not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. Looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. Probably for the best. I check out the computers. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner in a, in a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old fashioned to run down, they all look like they could be still be used. 
I know. If we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call. We might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. I tried to see if I could connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way to be that easy. But just when I was about to give up. I just noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X-File? What is this? Without thinking, I clicked on the strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the form, it looks like some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed in the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students from Hope Peak Academy using, causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, this, the dispute was, was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. Hope's Peak Academy became the origin of this incident. I was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no use, there was too garbled to read beyond that point. But what is this? Boy, tough crowd. Now I'm really angry! <laughs> So goddamn important, you fucks! Could it be? We really would've created this file? What's this? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of, dude. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. And Hope's Peak, Hope's Peak Academy getting destroyed? It's not like something stupid you'd make up. But what's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? Never even heard of that before. What do you mean? on the subject of stupid things. That file says something about students who survived. Is that... Is it referring to us? And the rest of that file is... Not gonna lie, I forgot he was here. Actually, a movie without images sounds like an art film. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. Damn it! He ran away again. 
Don't worry, it's, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. There's a lot of elect there's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these look old. Do they even still work? So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like I don't get reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. Somehow, it seems like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical supply, electrical appliances. Chucky, what happened? Are you looking for something? What? Ah, so that's what you're doing. If you find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. Nothing about the loose arcing electricity. Okay then. Figured that might be a place you want to go. Okay, so Wizard of Monomy and Wild Gun Monokuma. Shrug at the cinema. Welcome! Yeah, it's like. Showing. What does that mean? Showing a movie. Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case? I'm definitely not gonna watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never gonna see it. Oh, boo fucking who? I'm sure your movie is no different than the game you made. No, no. <laughs> that game was some fucking Unity garbage. I dumped it on Congregate, dude. I don't watch it. What are you gonna do about it? Monokuma sticker. Oh. I knew you could do it. God. It's a video game poster. Hmm. Looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. Because I think I already did buy it. But I'm pretty sure that's Ultra Despair Girls. There's some strange goods on top of the counter. One of them looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monami, Monami's face on it. No. Hmm? 
I'll pass. <laughs> I didn't even use real rope. I tell the guy with dental floss. That's too upfront, dude. Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry, I was born stupid. It's not funny. I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is this? Actually. One and a half million dollars? Don't mess with me. I don't have that kind of money. The fuck you think I am, dude? Fine, I'll pay it. I don't believe it. As long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even one and a half million dollars. the worst mascot ever. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away toward the door leading to the end of the theater. Slam! Da -da -da. The door violently opened and one person appeared from within. Tell yourself that, bruh. Nagito is so depressed. You must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay one and a half million dollars and not watch that movie, that's obvious. Quick answer. The movie must have been that bad, huh? Please wait. That fuck. Sonia, did something happen? very serious discovery at the hospital it's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that right huh what are you talking about Legendary. It's like General Hospital.
Hold on. Why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> the patient's room at the back of the hospital's first floor. I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Are the others already here? Yep. You're not going with them? You might be murdering someone or setting up a murder. A touching scene. I... Jealous of me? Great. I don't fucking know, dude. Are you being sarcastic? Like it's my fault for dragging this out. Sorry. <laughs> After all that, what did he really want to say to me? Last room on the first floor. I can hear voices on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? I had a feeling something bad was happening. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? I couldn't help raising my voice. What? Oh, what's up, nerd? Like you've seen a ghost. Hey, Hiko, are you all right? <laughs> it's just a scratch. Over ninety percent of my body. Not at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. I was just stabbed repeatedly. There's no way I can die. Oh shit, actually a new sprite. <laughs> Shocking. Aww. Yeah, no Orga's redemption ship's <laughs> fucking eye. used his sick what? weeaboo powers. Oh, sorry. She used her sick weeaboo powers. Are you serious? But still... Oh, 
Yeah, to make us feel better. You. Who knows? And forcing those words out, Fuyuhiko turned his turned on his bed away from us. And stop talking. Nekamaru. Sheesh. However. Huh? It what? Uh, uh, yeah. It's you're the loudest one here, but you're not wrong, also. Okay. Forward to a chapter of sex jokes. Woo! As he spat those words, Nekamaru left the patient's room. Wait! With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekamaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Yoko? <laughs> Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiru killed by Peko. And Yoko was nearly framed as her, as her killer. There's no way she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey! No. A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Such good friends. Yeah, fuck. Oh, I just got a really good friend. God damn it. Perhaps. Yeah, that's probably it. I am concerned. Oh. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. Doesn't happen often, but every once in a while, Sonya forcefully reminds me she's a princess. So 
So what should we do? Do you guys want to call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. But I know we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. She's still glaring. For now, we decided to call it a day and headed back to our cottages. Walking around all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt also might have been, it might have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? Yeah, they're kind of pricks, but you know. <laughs> I mean, kinda. A few of them don't. Less so on that, but that might be a Japanese thing. Actually, a chunk of them do. They watch a lot of people die. Says the most fucking over teddy bear. Emergency! Emergency! You might have just described yourself there, dude. Yep, just the same old fucking shit. Whew. It's been a while since I've slept a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. All right, I should head over to the restaurant. Pooped. You have not pooped. Good morning, Mikan. Hello. Yeah, it was about to go as well. I see, you're so busy this morning. How's Fihiko doing? Well, it might be better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. I guess I, should, I guess I should go to the restaurant. Yo, Nekamaru. Your voice is too soft. I'm fucking working on it, dude. Jeez, does he have to be like this in the morning? G good morning. <laughs> good morning. Oh. You're right. I'm sure they heard it. Huh? But you did it to those guys, but not fucking Biakia or Teru Teru, or whatever the dick his name is. <laughs> I'm only sad for the people I remember. And I'll remember the people who died most recently. Urgh. My grief keeps overriding my other grief. Yeah, I'll never forget it either. Let's just avoid Gundam. Jeez. It's 
Something to find. Want me to help you? Hey, good morning. Did you get over it? Hey, hey! Well, Fuyuhiko is safe. That's... that's probably why. <laughs> God, you're dumb. Even though she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy too. Aww. Don't think too hard, you might hurt yourself. What's happened? Yeah, I can imagine that. Um, don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? This is going nowhere. I want to listen to that fucking underground UK grime, son. Fucking your girls, uh. Akus. CD, huh? If we're fine, I should tell Buki about it. That's everyone that matters outside. Yo, homie. What happened? You don't sound that excited. You can just play it together. I made a mistake going to him first. Kazuichi, I wonder which one's more childish. It's... Hey, you wanna know who's more childish? This one! Yo! Are you playing a game? It's weird to see you playing games. Hmm. Nah, you won't. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that sentence? You just really want to say it. We were both there. <laughs> Just like Kazuichi. Yeah, I'm a mechanic. I know how to repair video games. You don't want this. You don't want my weird ass fucking face to be sad now, do you?
Isn't his intent kind of off? No. Upstairs we go. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fihiko's safe. Then. Oh, fuck. Stretch it out. Jeez. The photos are blank. Um, I have something. <laughs> they got something fucky. You saw that too. Um. This too must be the will of causality. Yeah, we found its ruins. Wow. We we found the ruined building. Like am I am I on drugs? Are you on drugs? Someone has some kind of horrible brain damage in this situation and I want to know who it is. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> How pitiful. <laughs> See? Yeah, we'll get everyone's favorite <laughs> bitch boy back. Woo! Again, there's no damage to his nerves or organs. Man. <laughs> oh, Akane, you fucker. Um. Oh. Uh, they're practice giving a suplex to trains. Then I can fight yeah. those mana beasts. 1v1 me, tiger. Oh my my! Huh? She 100% is. With that, our morning meeting ended and we all went back to our cottages. Now then, what should I do today? Today, I should call it here. Uh, yeah, so when we come back, we'll be doing some free time, heading out, hanging out with the fucking motley crew of assholes out there. Thank y'all for joining me. I've been, I've been weirdly anxious about trying to do these recordings, and I don't know why. I think it's general anxiety. But anyway. I'll be back at some point more of this. Till then, though, I'm dead. See you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out.